moving on from that one, quickly want to mention this because I thought this was this was crazy, right? Um, you're in the Matrix. How about now? I shouldn't be in the Matrix. I think I should be nice out of the Matrix now. But I was just saw this and I thought this was pretty hilarious and also pretty sad and bittersweet. So this picture of this young lady, um, Amelia, how do you say her name? Amelia de Moldenberg. De Moldenberg. She sounds like she's from some, you know, high society family or something, isn't it, right? Anyway, Amelia de Moldenberg, right? This lady is imaginative, amazing, right? So this picture of her has gone viral somewhere in my side of Twitter, which you'd call maybe the UK blick, black Twitter, blick Twitter side of things. <laughs> she might be calling him blick after this anyway. But the funny thing about this is that, number one, the picture of this young lady is fantastic. And if you don't know her, she is the host of a show here in the UK called um, The Chicken Shop, which is essentially um, our version of a, you know, of an urban show where you interview artists and stuff but they do it inside of a chicken shop and for whatever reason she's the host of it which is weird because chicken shops are like usually in really um you know struggle areas you know places that we would call the hood or ends or whatever it may be called but regardless the show does really well it's very popular she got invited to the oscars after pie if i'm not mistaken this looks like the vanity fair one so that's not even the oscars actual event but it's an after pie but it's still you know it's a, it's a prestigious thing to go to not everyone gets the invite obviously i didn't get invited so the fact that she went is amazing and also let's be fair she looks flipping amazing in this dress like she looks fantastic and i've seen a couple pictures of her on red carpet and she just looks you know she looks a little bit awkward and what she's wearing and whatnot not very comfortable in the skin but i feel like this has been the most comfortable i've seen again she's still not moving that might help but i think overall she looks really really good the dress works well the face is on banging you know what i mean the makeup's done well the hair is always needs to be there so the skin is glistening nails are all done brilliantly even even though she's got that kind of weird summer walker pose with her arms on her side she still looks fucking fantastic now the issue with this is that i guess this picture has reminded people that she exists because i think people maybe just conveniently forgot that she exists for some reason and it really stirred up a lot of ill feelings around some people in black twitter who think she's only got a position or only got invited because she's like a you know friendly somewhat easy to um an easy face to kind of look at because she's white and she's not black and she does this show where she interviews loads of urban acts and some of the quote tweets are really amazing and really really mean so obviously naturally because this is a podcast it's best to go through some of them and read what some of these people have to say regarding Amelia's um, representation over the Adiosas. Um and she says uh, I thought the Queen of England was dead she's right here yo obviously people are trolling and everyone says she doesn't even do anything and black people still find a way to hate on her weirdos um, um, another person here says she's so sweet man how does she get any hate another one says insufferable women fuming in the qt's quote, quote tweet sorry if that degenerate alone <laughs> if that gender alone was there they'd be yes queening us to death mate another one ugly women in the quotes hating her you know i love her She's gone clear. A lot of boys are fans, looks like. It's, it's the girls aren't really rating her for some reason. I'm all for bullying white men, women, but this lady is literally unproblematic. Leave my babe alone. UK royalty. She looks so pretty. I didn't know people hated her. Low key, a UK goat. Um, I'm a save Amelia for the Americans. The way you guys force yourself to hate random white people is so weird. It just shows how stupid people are. And that one says all the hate that she gets from jealous people that haven't done anything meaningful in their lives. And that one says the sudden hate towards her is very weird and fake as well because everyone has loved off chicken shop date for years. But now that she's moving up, you don't want to see her win. I don't think this is true. And maybe this is part to kind of rest on. I've always thought the premise around the shop to be a little bit dumb because in general like i said chicken shops in the uk are generally located in very poor um low income areas um this you know the kind of areas where you'd find loads of you know betting shops you're gonna find loads of really crappy chicken shops that sell flipping six wings and a drink and maybe a hand job for flipping one pound and usually for most places unless your chicken shop is in notting hill or something you don't ever see girls that look like amelia in these chicken shops especially not like shiny white girls you might see dusty type of white girls you know the kind of ones that you see that have like a side part in or that braid half of their hair or you know talk in a certain way or pull their hair back and have that kind of facelift ponytail those kind of white girls they exist but like you know well to do wholesome you know sweet white women like amelia don't really you know hang around chicken shops unless you know the chicken shops is in shoreditch or it's in hoxton or it's in brixton somewhere 
trendy like that but for the most part you don't really see them there like you know willingly going there to eat it's not really something they're going to go do they'd much rather go to like chicken sour somewhere and go buy you know overpriced fried chicken made by some white dude who stole the recipe for some black woman in the south but we continue so i always thought the premise of the show was really corny and didn't really make any sense if anything it'd make more sense if she did a show in like out of some coffee shop somewhere in some boutique somewhere that would make more sense in that way and you could still get the funny sort of awkward white girl interviewing hood guy type of dynamic but in a setting that makes sense to her i just thought her you know sitting on a rickety uh you know steel um chair with leather seats that got cracks in it in a chicken shop somewhere you know to telling the boss man if she's got more ketchup i just found that a little bit weird and a little bit strange but for every reason it resonated with people and i'm a big i'm a big believer in as much as something i as much as i don't like something i'm still a believer in the fans and the audience being the the overall one the overall sort of like deciding factor in what is good and what isn't good so if the fans decide it's good and they keep watching it clearly they do because i guess only oh, keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger the last one i saw i don't watch any of them but last one i saw as in a, as in a clip and a picture was her interviewing burner boy one time so clearly the show's going from strength to strength to strength and elevating and naturally because she's the host of the show her profile is also elevating so this you know look that she's getting going to the oscars party is somewhat makes a lot of sense because of who she is and what the show is doing but this lady saying the sudden hate it's not sudden hate i've always thought the show was shit personally and i know people have had their reservations around it and there does need to have some conversation need to be had about you know if this was a blackface would it be as easy for them to ascend the rungs of flipping celebrity and success here in the uk not really maybe because of the niche that she's in being an awkward you know white girl that's not from ends interviewing guys that are from ends or girls might be the whole point of why she's successful cool i understand that but let's also understand that it will be quite nice if that whole idea of the chicken shop thing especially when you think of the, the kid that used to do a chicken shop reviews if there was something especially if, if, if these are things that are like our like um weird cultural hubs it's getting sad to say this but if they're like our meeting points in the end it'd just be nice to have somebody that's from ends representing those things even though we don't own them and they're mostly owned by asian people and stuff but hey it, we, we're not going to talk about that sort of stuff it would be nice to get that but i do understand the hate <clears throat> i really do Again, sir, and again, you know, again, from the clips I've seen, it doesn't look that entertaining. I don't find it funny. I think it's not congruent to who she is. And there's a lot of kind of, you know, there's that thing I think a lot of people do where, especially on the show, it's sort of similar to like um, Caribbean or like African restaurants here in the UK. If you're a black person, you walk into one, especially a hair salon or like a hair beauty shop, you know, you're usually going to get usually going to get a little bit of a cold shoulder from the owners but the moment a white person walks in someone that's just not black all of a sudden they're like oh how are you how are you how can i help you you know what i mean they're doing all this really horrible pandering and kind of sucking up and somewhat boot licking to the non-black person to kind of get them on board which is horrible and you kind of see that kind of dynamic play out sometimes on a chicken shop because she's kind of safe and you know you're not going to get any like you know toxic shade borough type of questions from her so I understand both sides of it. But what I feel bad about for the whole thing, like I said before, is that this legitimately might be her best picture ever she's taken in the history of her media career. And it's now being permanently placed alongside this weird racial discourse that's maybe tinged and tinted and sprinkled a little bit of jealousy. Do you know what I mean? So it's very, it must be so bittersweet. This picture has gone viral. Many, many people have seen it, but it's also been the basis of people kind of questioning your place in culture and saying you only got there because you're white, which must hurt because essentially this is what her PR team have been hired to do. Her team that she hires and that she gives 10% to and maybe more to put her out there is doing what they should be doing and getting her in the right places and making her move in the right spaces so that it can progress and go. So don't be surprised if this kind of elevates and she's suddenly now doing chicken shops and flipping America and stuff and going to Popeyes or whatnot over there. Um, another one said, uh, this baby, this, the number, no, again, notice all the guys are the ones backing her. I guess guys really fancy her. And um, this baby ain't the issue for, or the villain most of you make her out to be. Yes, the industry is fucked, but how many black people supporting and pushing ZZ, Zumi, and Chucky's content? There's quite a few, to be fair. I don't know what he's getting at there. Quite a few are pushing it, but it doesn't really matter, innit? You're not going to get any of those people having a show on Channel 4 or going to the Oscars anytime soon. I'm so happy for her success. Maybe she'll be feeding you guys. <laughs> this person is raw. <laughs> so happy for her success. Maybe 
week she'll be feeding you guys watermelon so you can propel her to host the Oscars. <laughs> Oh, this is horrible. It continues here. The hate she gets is very weird. And then the last one here, my wife. So it does kind of, you know, switch from person to person in terms of what the hate is. But I still do think it's a little bit out of order, a little bit extreme. And people do need to chill out and give her time to breathe because she did not ask for this. You know what I mean? It's just, it's the position that she's in. Her team are doing their job. It is what it is. It is what it is. Um, Someone asked me in the chat, do you think she dates blacks? I don't really, to be fair, you know what, right? I don't want her to let me say that I want her to lean into her whiteness like because I know she's got a thing for that guy she keeps um she's got a thing for that guy that was Spider-Man isn't it I forgot his name the white actor I forgot his name but she's got a thing for him I prefer it if you just like double down on her whiteness like don't try and pretend to be into the like just like the reason why she's successful is because she's the awkward white girl just be the awkward white girl don't suddenly be the awkward white girl that's that's always into tyrones and jerome and jermaine's and stuff stick to your toms stick to your james your henry's and that and live that kind of life and you'll be good i think she tries to pander i think it's gonna go crazy for her personally i don't i don't want to see her dating skipped anytime soon please god just stay stick to the caucasians and you'll win she's already winning that anyway so clearly that model kind of works